Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's DJ Lampshade checking in with you for a tutorial video on how to use OBS, Tractor, and Soundflower for live streaming on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you prefer. When I first tried to figure this out, I was getting the sound to go through OBS fine with the music, but I wasn't hearing it in my headphones for proper mixing uh, for live DJ sets. So, before we get into this video, if you can subscribe and like my channel, and I would appreciate it if you followed me on Twitch at DJ Lampshade 7 for house and rap sets. So let's get into it here. First, you want to, well, first things first, download OBS software if you don't have it. Presuming that you do, go to internet, type in download Soundflower for Mac. Uh, it's the first one that pops up here. Make sure it's the Soundflower site, .en.softtonic.com. Click that. This is for Mac. Uh, you can get a PC version as well. Uh, it's all kind of similar with PC. Um, I'm not going to do a PC video, but you should get the gist from this video. So download that. We'll go up here to downloads, open that up. I already have it downloaded on mine, so I'm not going to go through the complete installation with you, but this will get you on the right track. Click the box, soundflower.package. Uh, go through the steps here, install it. Like I said, I'm not going to finish. So you might get a firewall block on your laptop or desktop. Um, what you want to do if you do get that, go to your settings here, privacy and security, and then general, it will pop up down in here, um, Soundflower. What you want to do is click open anyway when that comes up. So now that you have it downloaded, Soundflower, you want to go into your launch pad and find your MIDI controller, uh, the MIDI area for your computer. Mine is in this other folder here, Audio MIDI, MIDI Setup it's called. Open that. Now I already have it set up here as well. Um, I named it OBS DJ Streaming. So what you wanna do is click this plus sign down here, create aggregate device. And what you wanna do is click uh, Tractor, Control or whatever your mixer is and then Soundflower 2 channel. So now you have that set up. Um, I named mine up here OBS DJ Streaming so name it whatever you want. So I'm going to just delete this one because I don't need that one. Uh, OBS DJ Streaming. Okay now you have uh, OBS. Open OBS up. And here's my setup for my streams. What you want to do to get the sound working here, click this plus sign at the bottom, add. Then you want an audio output device. I uh, will name it OBS plus tractor or tractor plus sound flower, whatever you want. Okay. And then default, it'll just automatically be default. Now, you see it in here, it comes up right down here. So if we go to Tractor, now to set it up in Tractor to get the sound working properly, what you wanna do is go to Tractor, Preferences, Audio Setup, OBS DJ Streaming, right here, the one you saved it under, um, whatever you saved it as. Now the real important part, you go to Output Routing, so your output monitor looks like this, your headphones, your master, left and right, if you have an external speaker, if you're at a party or house party, live show, you can have your speakers going as well. And you can have your OBS working uh, with Soundflower to get the audio directly into your computer for the stream. So uh, that's how it should look. Close that. Now get a song playing here. Chill Bill, Rob Stone, so playing. And it is playing down here if you look. It's peeking out a little bit. So what you want to do, maybe turn the volume down a little. Um, 
so that looks good and then the headphones are working yep so it's all good and of course you know to stream you, you click start streaming um, you'll have to get your stream key in settings in OBS copy that and then that's where you're gonna paste it into your twitch uh, area in there so that may be another video but that's that's it right there that's how you do it um, I know when I first started trying to do this it was a little bit of a hassle digging around researching how to route it set it up so I wanted to make a short concise video to help you to get your DJ sets going live so you can um, be in the loop in the pandemic here and you know stay current with what's going on on the tech side so hope you have a great day like i said subscribe to my channel if you liked it and go follow me on twitch social media have a great day stay creating stay motivated and just be a great human being peace